Yeah. Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Elena, just in case you don't know. Um, and according to the title of this video, this is a massive book haul. Um, most of these books are from Goodwill and then a couple books I got at Barnes & Noble. So um, this is my sister. Her name is Mireya. Um, it's M-I-R-E-Y-A, just in case you're wondering how it's spelled. Um, she is my special guest <laughs> on my channel. She's kind of nervous, so don't mind her. <laughs> um, but she got some books too, so that's why I decided to include her in my haul because we got um how many books did we get count them. like 14 1 2 3 4 5 oh, 6 more. 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 that's all of them right so we got 13 books oh, close. for 14 something it's like 14 dollars and something change i don't know where the receipt is but that's crazy because you can go to barnes and noble and spend $14 on one book. I know because I just did that. So, yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, um, let's start. So do you want to do your books first or do you want me to go first? You should go first. Me? Okay. All right. Let's get started then. Um, I'm not going to go through telling you guys what each book is about because I think that that would just make the video extremely long, like longer than it should be. So I'm just going to go through all the books and then I'm going to include in the description below um, each book that was mentioned and then you guys can like look it up for yourselves or something just so that the video is not extremely long. Um, anyway, first book I got was Glass by Ella Hopkins. Uh, I've been wanting to read Crank by her for a really long time and I just have never picked it up. So I saw Glass by her and I was like, um, that... That book's really cool. I don't know if it is, I don't know like if poetry. it is like, uh, well, it looks like it it's kinda looks in like poetry. It. Look, I'm missing a nail on there, but I'll see it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it may be um, like poetry or something. So I don't know. I have never read any books by her, I don't think. So I saw this book there and I had to get it. Uh, next book, I got um, City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. Um, I thought that it was crazy that this book was there, first of all, because these books are really popular right now on BookTube and everything, so I've been dying to see what all the hype is about. And I know this is book two. Um, I did purchase book one. Um, actually, no, this is not book two, is it? City of Ashes. One. No, I think this is the third book. Because look, City of Bones, City of Glass, and then City of Ashes is up there. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. It says book two on the freaking cover. Oh. Anyway, uh, ignore me. <laughs> this is book two. <laughs> Let's just move on while I am ahead of myself. Okay, so <clears throat> another another couple of books I got. So I got, the, I got the Twilight series. I got Twilight and I got Breaking Dawn because I already have New Moon and Eclipse in my bookshelf over there. It's behind my head. So now I have the complete series and I am really excited that I have again. all of them now. Yes, again, again, because in middle school I did have all of the books and I had the um, had the movie edition of Twilight <clears throat> and I had the poster in and everything and it was pretty cool. Anyway, next, <clears throat> next book I got The Shining by Stephen King and y'all know that Stephen King is my favorite author. Um, I had to get The Shining because I have Doctor Sleep, and Doctor Sleep is supposed to be the prequel to The Shining, and I don't remember if I've ever read The Shining. I know I've seen the movie, so I don't know if I've seen, I mean, read the book, and I feel like I need to read the book, I need to read The Shining before I read Doctor Sleep, even though I already know what happens in the story because I watched the movie, but a lot of the times the movies aren't exactly the same as the book. We all know that. So after I read the book, I will, after I read The Shining, I'll read Dr. Sleep. Anyway, next book I got was The Giver by Lois Lowry. I freaking love this book. This book I read in middle school and it was just amazing. I thought that it was the you best read book. read it. I'm watching it. <laughs> I've already seen the, the movie. The movie is also on Netflix, guys, and it is really good. It is like it's exactly like the book pretty much. I mean, yeah, it is condensed because they can't 
include all of the details that are in the book, but it, the, the movie is so close to the book. It's just wonderful. Uh, enough of my babbling. Um, next book, I got <laughs> Holes by either it's, yeah, Lois Satcher. Sorry if that's wrong, but it is Satcher. Um, I loved this book in middle school, so when I saw it there, I had to get it because I want this book in my collection. I've read this book about five times, five or six times, so yeah, that's a lot of times for the book. And the last book out of my Goodwill pile is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I have been dying to read this book because I have seen like half of the movie. Um, I stopped watching the movie at like a rape scene because it was like too much I didn't want to I didn't want to do that anymore I didn't want to watch that anymore so I saw this book there and I was like yes I have to get it my co-worker has the second book which is the girl who kicked the hornet's nest and he's supposed to give it to me when his wife finishes reading it so I need to read this book before I can read that one so I love this and this book is like a floppy paperback so I'm gonna stay open my phone I love these. I love when the spines are already cracked and I don't have to do it because, like I told my sister in Goodwill, when I saw this book, I was playing with it like that. And I was like, I love when the spines are already cracked because when I crack the spines myself, my heart breaks a little. So <laughs> I just, I couldn't do it. <clears throat> so anyway, now it's her turn to show her books that she got. And then after she's done, I will go ahead and show you guys the Barnes & Noble books that I picked up today. So go right ahead, girl. <laughs> I don't know what to, what to give you. All you gotta do is say the well, title and who it's by, and if you want to say a little bit about the book, you can. Okay, well, <laughs> this is um, The Vampire Diaries by L.J. Smith, and like, it's just about a deadly love triangle. Like, the characters Lena, Stefan, Damon, and just like. Elena. Yeah, <laughs> Elena. Okay. They say so, Elena in the. In the movie, in the, in the show. The way they pronounce that name yeah. just drives me That's insane. this one. And like, this one is called The Hunter Games by Susan Collins. And like, I can't, I can't. Read. Everybody knows The Hunger Everybody Games. Knows if the you don't know what The Hunger Games is, then that's just skip out of the <laughs> cave that you are in or the rock that you're under. And read it no and offense. watch it. I mean, no offense by that, but just, just most people know The Hunger Games, you know? And next, and they had a lot of copies of this at Goodwill. I didn't get it because she was getting it. If I want to read it, I can just read it from her, which I'm yeah. probably not going to read it because I've already seen the movie and I didn't really care for it. Next book is A Pretty Little Liars novel by Sarah Shepard. I think Shepherd. Shepherd. And it's like, this one is Hannah. So. Hannah's story? Yeah, Hannah's story. And then there's another one, A Pretty Little Liars novel. And like there's like all of the four books right there so that yeah. one is like the second book this one's aria's aria story i think yeah because her name because each one of them this one says hannah's name on the back and this one says aria's it's like the first right there so each each book is a different person's story yeah yeah and then the last one is fade by lisa mcmahon and like i don't I don't know what this one's going to be about. I just um, read this back. one looks really interesting, so I'm just going to read the back to you guys real quick, um, just because it looks looks really interesting. Um, Jane concentrates and squeezes her hands into fists, pumping them before they become numb, focusing on pausing the dream. It's slowly, it, it's slowing, and <laughs> Jane tries to turn to look at the man, but the dream speeds up again. She can't do them both at once. Jane concentrates again on pausing the scene and she knows her power is limited. One broad push of energy and the scene slows and stops. She stays perfectly focused, turns slowly, evenly. Mm -hmm. Sees the girl? <laughs> sees the look of the horror on the girl's face. Sees the man's hands around her neck, his arms, and then slowly, slowly turns to see the face of the man. Interesting. Yeah. That sounds really interesting. Um, yeah, so whenever you're finished reading this book, I am probably going to borrow that from you. And my favorite thing is this bookmark. Like, I had to get it from Barnes and Nobles. She is, like, obsessed with wolves. I like, am She obsessed. has a serious issue. Like, look at these beautiful creatures. And, like, it, like, 
It's like, like a blue. 3D it kind of hologram or 3D? something. 3D? I can't remember what the name of these things are. It's really so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you grab the you see those books on the top of my bookshelf? Those books oh, that I just bought from Target. Yeah. What does that mean? All of the books I just bought from Target. Can you go get those? Because those need to be in this haul too. Because I bought all of those yesterday, and so I bought two today. Right? Yeah, all of those. Whoa, sister. Okay, listen. I don't have problem. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, don't drop those. Oh, I'll try. Okay, so the now we're gonna go into the books that I got at Barnes and Noble. Thanks. And then after this, I will go through the books I got at Target, which is a lot apparently, according to my sister. It is a lot. Like this girl got a whole bookshelf full. Okay, listen, we don't need to talk about my addiction. <laughs> anyway, first books that, um... <laughs> she just bumped into my guitar. Anyway, um, so, cool thing, Barnes & Noble had these free samplers of Sarah Dessen's Once and For All book. And we picked up two so she can have one and I can have one. Um, I've been seeing this book from a couple of my favorite booktubers and I'm wondering, like, what this book is about. So... I thought that it was really neat how Barnes & Noble had these little samples. I guess it's like, oh, it has two chapters in here? Oh, it has three chapters. Oh, that's really cool. Can you stop? Um, <laughs> the Cindy bunny. started bunny, uh, bunny. Cindy she started Cindy. chewing on the bag. She's inside her cage, but. So this is really cool. I thought that this is really neat. Um, next book I got was When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. Um, I have been dying to read this book, yes. I don't know I keep saying that about every book. I've been dying to read every book. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, this book is about a neurosurgeon who, um, he basically gets cancer. I can't remember what kind of cancer, and that's not a spoiler because if you read it, it says that he gets cancer. So it, he's just telling his story from how he becomes, how he's a doctor and he becomes a patient. Um, and then the next book I got was this book. I have been, yes, dying, dying. to read this dying. book. But this is my most anticipated release, and it just came out not too long ago. It is called The Takedown by Corey Wang. This cover is just beautiful. Like, look at that. It is actually pretty. That is gorgeous. This book is about a girl who basically gets Cyberbullied? blackmailed. No, she gets blackmailed. Oh. Um, Apparently she gets, the, a, a video gets sent out of her doing something she shouldn't be doing with her teacher, but oh. it's not really her. So now mm -hmm. she has to try to fix her life somehow. So that book is really interesting. I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, the next one is Flame in the Mist by Renee Ahidi. Sorry if that's pronounced incorrectly, but this is, I think, a Mulong retelling, so... I have been waiting for this one to come like out because Mulan. I freaking love Mulan. Like, she's my favorite princess. Ever since she was a little so, girl. So, anyway, yes, my favorite princess. So, um, the next book I got was City of Bones oh by Cassandra Clare because since I got the second book, City of Ashes, I mean, obviously, I have to get the first book because I can't even read the second book yet, right? Mm. So, duh. We just watched this movie yesterday. Okay. Um, so, now we're going to go into the Target books that I got. Um, and mom just got home, so hopefully she doesn't come here and ruin my video. <laughs> um, the next book is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. We just watched this movie last night, and the ending was like was so aggravating. It was. Uh, it aggravated the crap out of me, so. It left us. I don't even know if I want to read this book anymore because I know how it's going to end. Maybe um, if it ends that ending. way, I don't know if it ends the same. Thanks a lot. Yes. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, this book. Um, the next book I got was A Court of Thorns and Roses. This book I have seen everywhere. The third book just came out. Everybody on BookTube is talking about these books, and I just want to know what the hype is about. So I picked it up. And all of these books at Target were like six dollars, except for like two of them. Um, but six dollars—that's crazy. You can't beat that. Um, the next book I got is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Um, I'm not going to really say anything about this book. I've just been wanting to read it. That's it. And then the next book is The Wrath and the Dawn. I have been wanting to read this book for a very long time, too. Um, it's by Renee. I, I don't know how to say her last name. It's by Renee. 
Um, uh, this book sounds really interesting. I'm not going to say what it's about just because this video is already about to be like 15, 16 minutes long. Um, so to avoid taking much more of your time, we're just going to continue on. Um, the next book I got is called All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven. Mm -hmm. um, this book I've seen everywhere and it looks really interesting. So I want to read this book. Um, there's a lot of different opinions about it because some people don't like it, some people liked it, some people say that, yeah. well, well, that's, it. that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, next book I got was The One Memory of Flora Banks. This book sounded very interesting when I was watching some booktubers videos and this is a signed copy so I thought that was really interesting. Um, so in like the first page there's the author's signature there so that's pretty neat yeah they had some that were signed copies and some that weren't so i thought that that was really interesting that i got the signed copy um the next book is all the light we cannot see by anthony dewar um this book i've seen everywhere as well so i want to see what it's about and why is it all over the place and last but not least 13 oh. reasons why by jay asher um, I have seen season one of all of these episodes on Netflix, and I cannot wait for the second Me season too. to find out what's happening, so that's why I decided to pick up the book, so that I can just get ahead of it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, pictures. Look, there's, like, pictures of the, of the characters oh, in my here. Gosh. Yeah. That's so cool. That's really neat. I like this edition. And if you want this, I can go get you one, because they're, like, I think this... One was six dollars as well, or maybe it was just twenty percent off. But that's not that's still not bad. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's all of the books. So that is a lot of books. I didn't even count them all, but that's a lot. And if you can see my bookshelf back there, there is There's no space. Time. I've counted them before, books. and she um, has like sixty, almost seventy. Books. Anyway, that's not the point. And you probably didn't even count the ones that I had like inside like door there's some more down there you have more uh yeah anyway not the point but um so thank you so much for watching guys and i hope that you enjoyed my special guest over here um she's probably gonna be in more of my videos if she wants to be if she finds them interesting um so she'll probably be me be with my, she'll probably be <laughs> in more of my videos um sometime soon whenever i decide to record more videos um mm -hmm. But yes, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I will include all of these books in the description below so that you can look them up if you've never heard them before. And leave comments and let me know your thoughts about some of these books if you've read them already or if you want to read them. Um, any Anything, pretty much. Like, let's talk about these books because we love to read. We know we do. Um, all right, do you want to say anything? I guess <laughs> not. Um, so that is all. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time with another mm -hmm. awesome video. Bye. <laughs>